Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Next, and puck. So they don't have like anything that breaks refraction. So it's here. It's off a little bit of a leap so that you hit level three before the Primal Beast does. Yes. This offlane. Yes, it's a big power spike, right? This offline, like very many others, is... Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, here's why, right? Kill it time. This is what happens. Trample, 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 trample and blow, and that's going to kill poor Afu, as Narman has the magic stick. Well, one of them is still Moon. Uh, we still have the Impale. There we go. And now this is for the body blocks. Everyone's in this mid lane, wow. including the carry. Oh, look, are we watching MVP Phoenix again? Back to TI6. <laughs> Rotating carry. What was that toss? Cox is forced to use a Dream Coil, avoids the tree with a face shift. Wow! And now a Tiny is stuck inside the trees. He can't grab him. In fact, they're going to grab his corpse. They will. It'll crumble. It's just, no, it just turned on a dime there. Force <laughs> went under tower and went, wait a second. He has Onslaught, though. Oh, Again he goes. This time Trample level three. That should be enough to kill Chidori. As uh, Force tags the tower fully, I think he wants to die here, but they want to prevent that. So Soul Rip, the death will go to Afu. Yep. Or the kill will go to Afu. Right, the nature's coming. Skip They're gonna is go coming. top. <laughs> okay. walked, walked in. Yeah, the looser robe was like three seconds too early, honestly. Die. Yeah, I realized that. Down now. bottom. Scamus could be in trouble. Mid one just needs to charge the Illuminate. He has a Quelling Blade as well. And he gets to the trees. The horses get to the tree man. And that's gonna be another kill for SMG. Yeah, but they are stealing a. Uh, the CEO, of course, CFO maybe in this game, who is taking a lot of the early farm uh, and farming in the safe space in the triangle. Joe. Swallows the Illuminate completely. I think he used the Spike Carpus a little bit too early. And that will net him a kill here. Yep. Mid one. As in the mid lane, though, the puck. Oh, never mind. He might be the next target for them. That's especially if she almost has a full Deso to boot as well. Um, she's basically ready to play with the rest of her team. Uh, and that means that Chidori can then start farming easily. Uh, and, and by easily, I mean taking the safe farm that previously Moon was. Uh, and I think that's also why he plays things like Coddles, because they're very easy to determine tempo with. It's a very tactical kind of pick. Okay, Zhao uh, oh. avoids the damage and again managed to kill Paul, so I'm good to just Carpus there. Got him eventually here. I don't know how much more you're going to get or how much more you want to get, because there's always the threat of the TA joining this fight. Oh no, mid one's got a DD rune. Oh no, mid one start hitting him. There he goes. Blinding light, or sorry, solar bind. <laughs> Force, however, is not able to move after that onslaught. Not much. He he needs some help to be able to go toe to toe against his TA, who is gonna have a BKB relatively quickly. Puck is going to fall oh, wow. immediately. Wow! Puck lasted a single toss. They set up a tombstone as well on the high ground. But Force catches up to the big zombie. However, All the right. tombstone is still set up here. In fact, does SMG want to fight this? Avenge their zombie? No, tombstone has been broken, yeah. and now. It I think yeah. you can tell a difference in philosophies with how the impact of the two off. Oh, this could be big. Hold on, Abba. Chidori. Okay. He just gets smashed immediately. We have some healing in the soul rip, but Very it's good. not going to come in time. Very good. Because of the blast off, actually, and thanks to the Glade nice. here, they catch off Fu as well. Very important mm. kill for Geek Slate here. Beautiful. That's exactly how this lineup... Mid lane, they're trying to go for the puck, though. Ooh, Cox avoids the Illuminate. Just barely. Solar binds him. Sure, doesn't matter. You can't even reach him, actually. Yeah. And that's exactly what I thought this lineup was going to be. Ooh, nine second BKB here on Moon. As they are Shall on 10. I mean, on he a still has Spike Carpus, huh? He still has a fair amount of uh, fuel here. There's a Spiked. Uh, just in Whoa, time. They're turning? Fours. Banging the TB against uh, the ground. In comes the Techies. Oh, no, he missed it. He's not science. Sorry, BKB right afterwards. Narman. He's going to die to the Glimmer Cape. And now they catch up to Force. He also falls to a much stronger SMG. Geek Slate. You know, just for, I'll give it the old nudge, the old meteor hammer treatment. If we could use uh, the, sure. the flavor of the in, in a range carry meta, I feel like this actually be picked up more often than anything. Oh, I, I agree. Okay, Alpha will survive thanks to the glimmer cape and the garden greaves. Has no tombstone though, so it doesn't really matter if he lives or not. But he activates his ultimate just for good measure. Cox has already fallen, and Afu has tanked through so many hits from Scam, who's now trying to TP away in time. Oh, wow. The damage is high, but not high enough to bring down Scam. Wow, he doesn't he doesn't get away next time, though. No, he doesn't. Polison does still have the toss back, and he's going to toss back his techies as he sets down the sentries to see him through his escape. Yeah, I agree. From a theory perspective, I, I think you're absolutely correct on that techie's point. I think the issue is that your other two spells do... Paulson, Paulson, you reach. Ooh, that was so close. But yeah, I agree. I, I like that theory a lot. Scam, down bottom as well. I mean, Apu cannot cancel his CP. In fact, Apu is just going to die. Yes, he accepts his death. He doesn't have the help of the ultimate, the Flesh Golem, or the Guard Green this time. Not this time. Sprout leashes. Agreed. 
Um, th th that does ring true, I should say, for the TB, who has already completed the Eye of Scotty. Uh, he's prioritized that. But in general, again, I do agree with you. I could also see the Sprout mischance being very good this game. I just don't see the rule being that great, to be honest. Like this yeah, game. I guess it has similar problems, right, to be fair. Yeah, yeah so I, I think the mischance could be really useful here, especially because I just don't see a way where uh, an NP beats a TA and a yeah, terribly uh, delayed TB. Yeah. Hox does something. Hopefully, Narman is able to yeah, hit them. But but they have B, they have BKBs, so they don't care. One, two. They have uh, Scythe of Vices, so I don't know what Cox is going to do, but be turned into a pig for one of your many ham analogies. Here they go. Okay. They try to break the TA's face. TA's fine for now. Good Lots stunts. of stunts, however. Good Fair stunts. amount. Are the healing is higher. And Moon doesn't seem to care about this as much as they should have. They did lose uh, Chidori, but Chidori is going to have Aegis, so he's that's, fine with That's a win. That's is. a win, though. I it mean, is? they, they, you, oh, hold on, maybe not. I don't know. With a toss back, you get rid of the Nyx at this rate. Waiting for the Spike Carpers to end. There's another time for the final beast. Turned into a pig again. Into the damage from the TA. Force. Trying to break everyone. Get rid of the range of the TA. Chidori. Okay. He's been sprouted. He's actually not going to get the kill into the Primal Beast. Narman will be the target instead. He sacrificed himself for his cores. And he's not even going to die as a result. Skendo in the middle of it. He's one of the cores. He can't be dying like this. Can they cancel it to be? Of course they can with a simple hex. Now they bash the undying in. But Skem is fine. The TA head on and he can't win. Goodbye to Skem. 80 seconds without him. Force and Cox have to win this game somehow now. Nope. But Cox is already dead. Uh, tossing Cox. Condemns him. SMG. Oh my god, Chidori has another meta over here. Okay, once again, go for the Terror Blade. Damage with Glimmer Cape mitigated, but the bombs are too much. He's a Sunder target. Oh. Half one. No blood bags here. Moon, however, still a carry, and he's going to get rid of Force. He's going to get rid oh, of uh, Well. Oh, oh no, Cox is dying. He's going to turn this big into him, too, and that's going to be a nice little pork loin for SMG as they celebrate their victory. Yeah, I mean, a, a nice little showing there at the end there for Geek Slate. You know, the, the one, one fight for the boys where you shut down the map. If they can do that, then they can force a game three, but. They don't have much time to do that. Able to do so easier. We're seeing a TP already from the Enchantress. Not much saved here to help scan, but in fact, it's not save they were looking for. Uh -oh. It's murder. It's Paul's son's murder specifically. Scam has a little some beam in a second. They enchant him first, waiting for the slow to end, and that's where they get him. Jao will get the receiving some nice buffs. Um, and speaking of... Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's the arrow we were looking for. They're going for Jao, but he just got that point in the attendance. Not enough heal, though. Oh, they didn't have the magic wand. You know? And, and, nor do I think they're really supports that actively help DP get kills. The, these are supports that help DP not get killed, if that makes a little bit of sense. They just got a, the biggest stack of Ancients I've seen in a while. And they have to punish Afu for this. Afu, they have to kill the messenger so he doesn't tell other people. Yeah. I suppose. That's uh, exactly why you kill the messenger, actually. No, he's already found the stack. This fight from behind. So Moon going for this Rolling Thunder isn't just for show. This could be a fight. Yeah, they want to go and finish off this DP. She is in pinball zone. Shallow Grave used maybe a little bit too early as Cox starts to heal to his best of his ability. Spirit Side Phantom Creeps are dying though. Cox, luckily, back to full, to half HP. Ghost need to come back soon. In a oh, second, wow. he'll have him and he'll Whoa. survive through this whole onslaught from SMG. Scam nearby. I don't think they saw Scam. I guess it depends on how bad or how they value I, this uh, Morphling versus Luna matchup. Yeah, I, I, I think it's better off waiting now that I think about it, because Force is about yeah. to get off Helm of the Overlord. Joe, he only has one level in the healing. That's not going to save from the magical damage. Yeah. Uh, good kill there for SMG. A little bit of map nice. until the Lucent Beam slices it down. Are they really diving for this? This is bold. Yeah, but it might work. Rolling Thunder, there's nothing to cancel because Luna's out of mana. Anyway, there's a Rolling Thunder to get away. <laughs> Yes, that's the plan. Moon right. using a TP. Oh, yes, haste regardless. And they've killed Afu for free. And his courier. Good. She still scales. But, you know. Oh, with the Luna, though. Oh, tossed in place, actually, Skem. Skem still has the Detection? Eclipse, though. Hello? They have to be a little bit careful. Mid one, Glide Ears. They send the Hawk his way. Rooted and burnt, sir. Big kill. Very important kill. It's a big kill, honestly. Uh, looks like Paulison will be able to escape with his life intact. But uh, good move, honestly. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I thought. Rolling Thunder mid lane for Narman. Okay, with an arrow. Okay, they get rid of the dazzle early. That's pretty good. Primal Roar onto the Pangle. Can they kill him through the roll? Moon has a magic wand. Now a swashbuckle, getting as much distance as possible. The Hawk does hit, and the Ghost chase Ooh. after him. Moon will die, will die a ghastly, eerie death here, as uh, Mirana is going to suffer from the same fate. Okay. No crossing streams here. SMG just loses both. 
good good fight for Geek Slate. Again, it's just the thing that kind of sucks for them is they use a couple big. Oh, that's that's really nice. And Arcane read into the bottle for Cox. He won't be able to use that with the NXX, Top so lane. unfortunately. Top lane. They have a Sprout for Vision here still. It's a scam. Is there a TP? A valuable trade. You know, this this first Ages parry. What, what did we really get with first Ages? The bottom tier one tower and a kill onto the off laner and the mid laner. Force. Blocks the arrow at least with his crease, but unfortunately can't block oh, the, the grave. Shallow Grave will keep him alive for now as he probably roars the Pango and tries to get out with the extra movement speed. They need another proc, and it's oh. going to be the Anthem Strike instead that gets him as they're chasing after the DP. A toss back now, the Spirit Siphon's stolen for the Morphling. So that damage is going to be equalized. The arrow hits as well. Swashbuckle, another Shallow Grave. This time in a better position. Cox okay, fight back. He has so much healing left, and Cox will be healthy enough to fight in. Against the Morphling was on a mana. He, they toss back this poor Luna, and Luna's oh, trying to regain her distance, nature. but she's un incapable of doing so. Scam will fall as well. Shawn Welma being chased down as Chidori with very, very low mana. Activates the clarity, goes for Cox, the last core to die here. They do have a shallow grave for Cox and too much healing, so they're going to have to respect him for now as the arrow once again set up by the Gleipnir sets up for Cox's death. And a final toss oh, back from no Pulse to catch the poor Dazzle. And that is going to be the dessert that uh, SMG was looking for. Great fight from SMG. Just so beautiful. And I think that that honestly should have been a Geek Slate fight victory, even after they catch the Beastmaster there pretty much with his pants down. But uh, I really, really like that fight from Geek Slate. I just think like they watch that replay and they uh, you're all of a sudden out farmed against three cores. Yes. And because it's one, it's a single core, uh, we'll talk about this in a second, but I want to add to this that uh, look at Marana's build for a second, the Heaven's uh, Halber. Uh, yeah. Oh! Yes. So this is what happens, and well, the reason why, as she is going to kill the Enchanters, this is the reason why these days you don't see this monocore lineups, or right. these lineups that resemble this, right? And what you see three is for a very specific bespoke counter. Like the times in, in Lima where we saw Oracle against Bat, and it looked really good. Or, right? or Io, because is safe, but there's also other reasons to play. That's the that's a good point. It's yeah. a very unique combo that's, here. That's, that's a, I feel like Io is, yeah, that's a point. category of its own. Uh, I'm discovering all the bases here. Uh, as the arrow is blocked by the Enchantress, we still have... Oh, the actually also into the Rolling Thunder. Cox and the Grave is used for Junwell, which means now Cox could be in trouble. He does have two lives, however, as the Morphling has gone full strength here. And with the help of mid one, the damage is sufficient. Force already dead. Cox comes back into a Sprout Air of Death. And now, poor Scam has been caught out, tossing him back into the Morphling. Actually, they toss <laughs> him forward. Back. Return to I Sender. don't need him. But Scam, alone, without friends, he knows this game is just too hard to win. Yeah. And I do want to touch on this range idea again because you're up not just against a morph. Saying why the heck did you shallow grave the end? Well, to be honest, BKB on first life and EXO ending soon meant that honestly DP had expended most of her resources already. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's, that's a tough call. It, it, was a, it was a tough call. And then oh, I just lost back again. Yeah. And Cox, this is Scotty now, so even the BKB won't save you. If I least proud of anyway. Luckily, the silence prevents the waveform. Holy moly, try look to at that heal. Here. Not enough. It's like a thousand healing. BKB expended. There's going to be Megas already. Yeah, it is. They have double damage on Morphling, so they can't stop him from... Someone enchant him, please. Take the double damage away. Another toss back, and this time oh, there's no BKB. Dead. Oh, they also catch up to Force. They have a wave form on Chidori. Oh. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Probably roar it immediately to his face as the Pango tries to stun him, but the BKB is not ending in time. GG is called by Geek Slate. Yeah. Skem has a suffering yeah. thing.